And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we are talking about Lambda functions, which are actually pretty useful and also bring your Python skills to the next level. To understand Lambda functions, we are defining a normal function first. So let's define a function here, which we are naming multiply, and this function is taking x as an argument. Inside this function, we are defining a return statement, and we want to get x times 2. So this is a very simple function which is just taking the input and provides the input times 2 as an output. So let's actually call that function by typing down its name and providing 5 as an input and we're getting 10 as an output. So 5 is multiplied by 2 here. Nothing more than that. Now how can we use a lambda function to perform this? We are typing down lambda as the keyword then define the parameter of this function and, or the argument of this function as we did above. So that is the same here. And now we are defining the operation, which is x times 2 as it is above here. So we are not using the return statement here. Now how can we work with this function? There are two ways and I'm showing you the less convenient way first. That is using parentheses around this lambda expression and then use another pair of parentheses and provide the argument for x inside those parentheses. So let's take 5 as we did here. And if we're executing that, we are also getting 10 as well. So this is supposed to be an anonymous function because we are not calling the name of this function at all. We are just typing down stuff here and we don't have to call this as we did here. Now the more convenient way to use lambda function is to store this in a variable. And let's just call the variable lamb. And we're using the same syntax now, x, x times 2 here. Execute that and call this variable and provide 5 as an argument. We're also getting the 10. So this is just an alternative way and maybe a more convenient way than this to use lambda function. Another use case of lambda functions is to check if a certain value is meeting a certain condition. So let's define lambda of x and then I'm checking if x is larger than let's say 5. Okay, so now I'm using the parentheses again and providing an argument here. So I'm checking for let's take 7. And we are getting a true, so we are getting a boolean output here of true as 7 is larger than 5. So if we were taking a 4 here, we would get a false output. But let's get rid of that as it is confusing for the upcoming steps. That's just another possibility to use the lambda function. Now maybe you are arguing, well, that's nice, but I could use several arguments for this function. So I could just define x and y here and perform a multiplication of both inputs, so x times y. So if we're executing that and provide like two fives here, so this one for the x and this one for the y, we would get 25 as 5 times 5 is 25. Well, you could also use the lambda function to perform this. We're using this lambda function here and we're just defining, as we did above here, two parameters or two arguments for this lambda function. And now we have to amend this operation which is just the same as above here x times y and in the arguments section here we have to specify two parameters as we have defined two parameters here so 5 and 5 and as you see we're getting the exact same output I'm not amending this function right now but you could also do that by storing that in a variable here again maybe you aren't satisfied yet. Maybe you are telling me, well, I could use this function and provide conditional statements here. So for example, I could tell Python, if x is larger than y, I want to multiply those values. But if x is equal or smaller than y, so we are just using else here, I want to do a subtraction. So I'm just subtracting y from x here, okay? So as an example, if I'm taking those values here, so those are equal values, I should get a subtraction here. So I, I'm getting 0 as 5 minus 5 is 0. If I'm taking a value which is larger than y, so if I'm taking a 6 here, which is larger than 5 as the y value, 
I'm getting a multiplication of those values as this statement is triggered. Can I use lambda functions to perform this? Of course you can, otherwise I wouldn't show you. So you are defining the exact same thing now. You still have x and y as the parameters. And now you're using this operation and define if x is larger than y. Else x minus y. So this is the exact same syntax as this one here. And now we are taking 5 and 5 to check. And we are also getting 0. And let's check for 6 and 5. And we are also getting 30. And you already see the power of those lambda functions. We need 5 lines of code. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines of code to actually make this possible. With the lambda function, we can perform this in a single lines, line of code. So that is actually pretty useful, right? Besides saving some lines of code, you are also improving your code readability. Using traditional functions, you have to specify them somewhere in your script. And then somewhere else, you are calling those functions. And you always have to check, okay, what was this function doing? Or do I have to define a new function here, which I'm calling right now? Lambda expressions are solving this issue as they are defined exactly where they are executed. Personally, I'm using lambda functions pretty often when working with data frames, as you might have seen when checking my other videos, for example, on the Panda series or Python for Finance. The reason for that is you can use lambda functions to apply a certain calculation on every single value in a data frame, and that's actually very useful. That's it for now for lambda functions. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. In case you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you have any questions, no matter which, feel free to drop me a comment. I'm really happy to help. I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.